This is my booty building lean leg workout. Lately I've been seeing a lot of progress in my legs and my booty and I wanted to show you guys the exercises that I've been using to give me these results. I like to start off with a high intensity plyometric workout like these X hops. This really gets the blood flowing to your muscles and gets your heart rate up. So this promotes fat burning for the rest of the workout. So one squat and a lunge on each side is one repetition. So all together you're going to do 15 of these and these are quite difficult. Now that you've gotten your heart rate up, you just want to slow it down for a second. So this is my all-time favourite exercise which targets your glutes and your hamstrings. So your glutes and your hamstrings are two main places that females struggle with cellulite and toning. Make sure you keep your hips really high towards the ceiling, engage your entire core and squeeze your hamstrings and your glutes as hard as you can once you've curled your legs in for maximum contraction and results. Now, I'm a massive fan of supersetting. I pretty much superset every single workout I ever do. So once you've done 15 of the ball roll-ins, you're going to do single leg hip thrusts, 10 on each side. And then you're going to triple set this with your basic hip thrusts and you're going to do 15 of them. So that's one mini circuit and you're going to repeat that one more time. So all together you do two rounds of those. Then to just burn your hamstrings out even more, your next exercise is going to be another personal favourite of mine. It's Romanian deadlifts with slightly bent knees. I bend my knees because I feel like I get a better contraction in my hamstrings and it doesn't hurt my back. And I also choose to do them with dumbbells rather than a bar. I just find it a lot easier and more comfortable on my body. You want to make sure you're keeping a straight back the entire time. So bend forward, slightly bending your knees. And as you come back up, really engage those hamstrings, squeeze them, and you can come up as slow as you want. The slower you come up, the harder the contraction is. Once you've done 15 deadlifts, we are going to superset it. What a surprise. We are supersetting with weighted sumo squats. I'm just using a 12 kilo kettlebell here for my sumo squat. So make sure your legs are really nice and far apart. Your toes are pointing outwards. And I actually like to go up on my tippy toes at the top of my squat. I feel like it absolutely burns my legs and it helps really lean them out. You can just do normal sumo squats if you want, but if you want to make it harder, obviously add the weight and then go on your tippy toes. So you're going to do 15 of those all together. And that is your second mini circuit. So once you finish, you're going to repeat the deadlifts and the sumo squats again. So all together you do two rounds of them. So by now you're going to be quite hot and sweaty, but I really want to spike your heart rate up to really maximise your fat burning. These are a killer. They are a burpee with a tuck jump. I'm going to say do 10 of these. If you can push up 15, do 15, but if you can just do 10, that's fine as well. So make sure your chest is down to the floor, and as you jump up, try to get your knees to touch your elbows. If you've never done these before, they can be quite challenging, but these are called pistol squats, and you're going to do 15 on each leg. If you can't manage 15, try to push out 10. So you're going to be holding on to some TRX bars or even just hold on to a ledge beside you. Try to keep one leg straight out in front of you and squat down with the other. At the top, really squeeze your glutes. And as soon as you finish that, we're going to superset it with some jump squats. So just do 10 to 15, depending on how you're feeling. Then you're going to repeat those two exercises one more time. Then we're going to go into some step ups. So make sure with your step ups that you're stepping up quite high, but not so high that you have to swing your arms to get yourself up. With the back leg, I like to keep it straight and squeeze the glute at the top of the workout. I feel like that's when I get the best results. So you're going to do 15 on each leg. Once you've done that, you will superset it with some box jumps. I didn't actually have a box, so I just used this little step and it worked perfectly. And I did 15 on these. If you are on a higher box and it's harder, you can just do 10 to 8. Then repeat both of those exercises again. Now you've made it to the last circuit of the leg and glute workout. These are called glute kickbacks. So you're going to do 10 regular kickbacks, making sure you're really squeezing the glute at the top of the workout. Once you've done 10 regular ones, you're going to keep that back leg straight and pulse it in the air for 10 reps. So do that on both legs. Once you've done that on both legs, you're going to bring your legs out to the side. This really targets the outer glute. You're going to keep the knee bent at a 90 degree angle, bend it up for 10 reps, and then leave it up in the air and extend the leg out for five reps. And then obviously do that on the other side as well. Then your last superset of the whole workout is jump lunges. And you're going to do this until fail. This might be 10, 15 or 20 or even 30. So just do as many as you can. And then obviously have a one minute break. And you're going to do that whole circuit one more time. 
and those were my favorite leg and glute workouts at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you do any of these exercises at the gym next time or even at home. Subscribe, I upload new videos every single week and give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.